yeah, you know, it's weird. Uh, I open uh, my chapter on Jay-Z's poetic invention by saying, as weird as it sounds, he's an underrated rapper. What do I mean by that? No, he's been given world, you know, worldwide recognition for his ability as a hip hop artist, as a rapper to create records that sell millions of copies that change the way we understand the hip hop game. But as an MC, as a manipulator of rhetoric, as a litigator of language, his linguistic exchanges, his poetic conventions, his use of braggadocio, his use of the various poetic devices that constitute literacy at its highest. And think about what he does with that, and he doesn't even write it down, right? Uh, that's an extraordinary thing. So when you go through his music, as I've done time and time again by studying it, it just jumps out at you. We don't really appreciate just how much depth he has, right? We think about Jay when the rim is in the system, ain't no telling, will I love him, will I diss him, that's what I be yelling, right? Alluding to Biggie, who said that line first, those lines first, uh, in a song with uh, Diddy and with Too Short. But then Jay goes on and, and elaborates on that, uses, uses Biggie as a kind of intellectual uh, antechamber to invite us into his sonic, uh, you know, office, his sonic chambers. And then he goes on uh, in greater depth to talk about what he's talking about in that song, you know, uh, I Just Want to Love You. So when you think about Jay-Z, you think about, okay, maybe it's partying, maybe it's big pimping, maybe it's a lot of cash and women, but what you don't often understand is there is literary complexity and nuance uh, beneath it all. On the internet, they're like, you should spit it. I'm like, you should buy it, and that's good business. I used to think that rapping at 38 was ill, but last year alone, I made, I grossed 38 mil. I know I'm not quite 38, but still, the flow so special got a 38 feel. A 38 feel, like a gun, like a 38 special, like Saturday night special, right? Look at the wordplay. Look at the powerful uh, engagement with um, uh, analogy and metaphor and simile and homophones and metonymy and, and, and on and on and on. Whatever you can talk about with uh, Rita, Fr uh, Rita uh, Dove or Robert Frost or Edgar Allan Poe or Carl Sandburg or... Uh, Yosef Komanyaka, I mean, you know, or Kevin Young or Elizabeth Alexander. Um, you think about extraordinary genius, rhetorical manipulation for the purposes of poetic invention. Jay does that, doesn't get credit for, it, and he's doing it without A, writing it down, and B, to music. I mean, come on, get a man his just due. That chapter in my book tries to give him his just due.